All right, so can you just update us on Daniel? And what's yeah, going on he, has a, uh, he has a fractured tibia, and he'll get surgery on Wednesday, so he'll be out indefinitely. Can you call it the year yet, or do you still need to? Uh, you know, you don't want to say, yeah. you know, it's definitely the year or whatever, but I, I would think so. I, I would think you, you would like it to be around two to four months, but I think it's probably closer to four to six months. So it being that long, you try to preserve the year, I imagine. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You take a medical redshirt. Yeah. If that's what ends up happening, yes. Just how disappointing is that? I mean, obviously you never want a player to get hurt, but he's a guy who's going to get better and better and better right. as he played here, and it was a big part of your equation here. Yeah, there's no question about it. Obviously, you're going to, you know, you got an opportunity to play and, and uh, look like play a lot. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we have a lot of guys on our front line, and um, I thought he did some really good things in that first game and uh, blocked some shots. We got some lops to him, and um, just has got a, uh, you know, bright future more than anything. So it's, yeah, it's, it's disappointing, but um, it happens. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, you feel for him, and, now you just you know want to be positive and you know dive into his rehab and try to learn as much as you can through watching others and watching film and just the competitions that you know that come yeah. our way as, as you watch and uh, hopefully learn. You learn the best by doing it, but um, also you gotta try to find a silver lining in something like this and, and get healthy and you know get stronger and, and uh, just keep working. Um. Your thoughts on Berg so far, what we've seen from him as he ascends to, you know, more of a opportunity. Uh, Raleigh Burgess? Uh, Will Berg. Will Berg, I'm sorry, I thought you said Burgess. Um, well, Will did some good things. Like in that first game, like he just mm -hmm. had nothing to show for it because he missed his free throws. He was one for six from the line. But he did some good things to get, you know, to get fouled that many times. And I thought he rebounded the ball well. In that second game, he had seven rebounds there. I think he had five in the first game. So he's done some good things rebounding the basketball and, and just being a, a physical threat down there, whether that's defending or getting a deep post up. But uh, he's waited. He's been very patient. And, you know, now he's going to have more of a, you know, he was going to play before, but yeah. now he's going to have more of an opportunity, um, you know, with Daniel being out. But, you know, Raleigh Burgess and Caleb First and Trey Kaufman and Cam Heidi, you know, everybody's got to step up and, be able to play well. Does this push you more in the direction too of having to kind of examine what Trey can do at the five and what those lineups are capable of? Yeah, it, it, there's no question. Like we'll, we'll see how things unfold. Um, you know, you kind of go back and forth between offense and defense. Mm -hmm. and you like to get two way guys where it makes sense for them to be in the game. You know, on both ends of the court. But we'll, we'll kind of see how matchups go. And um, he definitely gives us that versatility to play both spots. I should probably ask you something about Yale. Obviously, you've met them before in the NCAA tournament. Right. You know James Jones relatively well. Just what right. kind of challenges did they pose? Well, they, they run good stuff, first of all. Like they, they put you in binds. They do some good stuff. Um, you know, out of back cuts. Um, I, can do, I, I can never pronounce his name, so but he, he's a fabulous player. The kid from Illinois, like he can really shoot the basketball. He can move without the basketball. He can put it on the floor and make pull ups. So he's a tough, uh, you know, cover for us. Uh, Bang is a guy that can really break you down and drive the basketball. But like his just kind of his intensity and his resiliency on both ends, you know, kind of gets them going. He's their energy. Um, but they have a good team. You know, he's done a great job. They lost one of their big kids who went to Michigan. Um, they obviously won a game in the NCAA tournament last year against Auburn, which uh, is, is a huge statement because we all know how good and talented Auburn is. So um, this is going to be a tough game for us. And we talked about that in our first three non-conference games. You know, all of them in the last four or five years have all had NCAA experience right. and uh, quality programs. And this is probably the best of the three. You know, they've been very, very consistent. Even when they've lost some guys, um, you know, they've been able to uh, – regroup and get to the next year and still be very successful. Great.